Oh gosh, they're going right under us. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, all my stuff is tangled up. Oh, I've got little ones following. Jack were on. Ling, y'all, Ling. All right, I'm gonna back us down on it. He's little. There's a lot of jacks. Good. Very odd current today. So you saw that ling? I saw a big flash. I didn't know what it was. All right. They ought to eat this too. They were offshore. They wouldn't touch spoons. Oh, really? All right, you guys. So we have arrived to the first spot it is missing pretty heavily so there's probably going to get probably going to be some water droplets on the lens we're out here looking for ling jacks whatever bites and we're going to run out a little bit farther here in a little bit to hopefully dive that is the end goal of today if all else fails Fish. I want that lane to come up and eat. Oh, Jacks, look at him. Big Jacks. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. They ought to smoke their eel. Fisher's up here throwing an eel lure. Well, they chased me up. All right. Reel that. Are you on? What'd you get? I think you got a jack, dog. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's on. It's jacks. It's got to be. Are they hitting it? Yeah, yeah. The one took it and lost it the other one. They're probably hanging out here. If I put on another lure, they're going to crush it. money for a jack. <laughs> That's why no hard baits. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll get some little buck whales. Let me, uh... Those jacks, they get curious. Oh, oh you got one. You got one. Dude, I watched him eat! Yes! Oh, you broke! You need a bigger leader, I guess. Come on! Tie a giant leader. Tie a giant leader. Alright, jacks don't like my jig, so we're gonna put on some jack juice. I've actually never tried these on jacks before, but I know that they will slurp that thing up. Yeah, I know. I just want, I just want one jack here, and then we can go. Ling will eat this lure too, so I'm not too worried about it. It's just not as heavy. And we're out here at deep rigs. And typically you want a jig. And you want to get that lure, to, you want to get that lure down to the bottom fast. Alright, here we go. First drop with the new lure. Hopefully we can scoop a jack. They're here swarming. They just kind of come in waves, so you gotta intercept them. And you gotta have a a semi-realistic lure. For whatever reason, the jacks offshore I've noticed are pretty picky sometimes. Remember, like, a couple years ago, we we couldn't get them to eat? <laughs> it was so hard. Yeah, they were, like, real pretty. Spoons are definitely... There we go. There we... Oh, he's off. Oh, there he's on. He's on. Another one. Oh, no. What the heck? They're on it again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> How many times did they eat it? Three times? My drag was probably a little loose. I didn't set it either, so that accounts for that. First cast! Let's go! On that hoagie eel. Yeah. I'm gonna go get on the bell. Let's go, baby! Well, we finally got a jack to stay on the end of the line. 
That was the same exact cadence that yours did. Yeah, I had just, three bites. It's like three. And they all like missed it. Oh yeah. I feel very confident because we have a long 80 pound leader and that hook on that eel is insanely stout. Woo! Much more of a fight when they can get under you. Golly. All right, well, welcome back to another video. Haven't done an intro yet. Wanted to get on some action before you formally introduced you guys to today. We are out here on the Ponga. Oh gosh, it's like something's chasing him. And the goal, the goal today is to primarily look for Ling. Um, obviously fish for jacks. They've been pretty thick here lately. And then if we run out far and we got clear water, we're gonna hop in the water and hopefully do some spear fishing. So you guys stay tuned. Action already seems like it's pretty hot. Jacks are in no shortage, so. We're gonna get this dude up and hopefully show you guys if we can get him in the boat. And uh, we're gonna have us a day, so you guys stay tuned. Oh yeah. Nothing I wish we would have saw him before he ate, but. Yeah, that one I hooked is pretty, you might have filmed that. Right? I saw it, I don't know if the GoPro got it. There we go. Look at that lure right in the corner of his mouth. Stuck him. You can put a glove on if you want. I got one in my backpack. That keel is lethal. Right there. Oh, yeah. Let's later. go, baby. We can keep this one. I was thinking about that. Last year around this time, we saw a behemoth of a bull shark. I have a wire leader. Yes. I have one in my, my roll-up yeah, roll bag. This is a small jack, too. He's not. He's not a 40 incher. Oh, we gotta get him up first. Yeah. I'll keep an eye for a, a big dorsal fin coming up from under. Yeah, tell me if the dorsal fin. <laughs> now I got you worried. <laughs> you got me thinking about Now I see Fisher looking down below the fish. All right, swing her in here. Let's go. You're good. Just drop her. That's why I have a, a painted boat. Don't have to worry about the, the clean nitpicky finishes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. All right, let's go, y'all. Let's get a quick pick and keep fishing. First fish of the day. As soon as we got to this rig, we saw jacks swarming. And it's not our primary target for today, but I will take it. Awesome, awesome fights, and these dudes are in thick. And you might as well keep hammering the jacks while the iron is hot. So let's keep doing it. We're gonna move on from here and hopefully go get some more fish. All right, y'all, so we are gonna leave this rig behind. It is just full of jacks, but today we came out here to look for Ling. So we're gonna keep popping around and see if we can find some more fish for you guys to diversify the species fit. So you guys stay tuned. All right, well, Fisher is hooked up. I thought it was a jack initially when it crushed his, his eel. But yeah. he's saying it is not fighting like a jack. No, not at all. So, hey, if it's a ling, I'm going to be super it's pumped. It's hard, but it's not a jack. Perfect. I hope it's not. I mean, if we have a fish this big and it's not a jack, no, way it's, a jack. it's very likely it's a ling. <laughs> Fisher's not too fond of jackfish. We caught a bunch a while back out of his boat, so he's got his fill in. Dude, let's go. Look at that. It's, it's nice, but it's not fighting at all like a jack. You know what this means? If it is a jack, you gotta jump in the water. <laughs> all right, you guys heard it from Fisher. He doesn't think it's a, if it's a ling, a it's, jack. It's a keeper. But, you know, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. I hope it's a ling. If it is a ling, I'm gonna have to drop this camera and grab a gaff. I just wanna see him. No. It's a jack, Oh, dog. God, if it's a jack. It's a jack. I saw it. It is a jack, indeed. It's okay. It wasn't fighting at all like a jack. How many jacks did you catch last time? Like seven. You should know how to fight now. 
It's all good. We got another jack. Hey, we're catching fish. That's all that matters. Beautiful. It's starting to clear up out here, which is good. We just got to weed through these, these jack cavals. How does it feel to know that you actually have a jackfish and not a ling? It's heartbreaking. Hey, no, it, it's, you believe what you want to believe. Yeah, you I see know. what your eyes want to see. I know. It's just how it I goes. I was trying to like think this ling into existence, but it just wasn't enough. <laughs> Load up though. Perfect. There he is. Woo! Fisher has his first fish of the day. You have any uh, words about that I, fight? I know the forked tail and the yellow fins would lead you to believe this is a ling. <laughs> it, it makes me think it's a ling too, so ignore the grunting noises and just pretend it's a big, delicious brown cobia. Adios. Pulled up to the rig, found some clear water out here. It is deep green, but that is expected this time of year. And we're gonna hop in and see if we can get us uh, some snapper. It's just hard to dive in the current. And there we go. Bunch of these dudes down there. And a giant shot him right in the stomach. But uh hey, all the meat is good to go. I'm gonna bring her up here. So since the freeze, we've been doing all catch and release, and we haven't had any fish since then. It's about time we got a little more meat for dinner. Just a bunch of these little sheep's head. Tastes good. Now I don't shoot these dudes all the time just because we primarily look for snapper and I think they taste a little bit better, but they are indeed underrated. I will say that. These sheep's head taste super good. Pretty much any way you cook them. And uh, we're probably gonna do some fish tacos out of that, but uh, there's just so many and we like to seek the challenge and hunt for those snapper. So oftentimes we, we do swim by these dudes. Buddy can't hang. <laughs> Alrighty, so at this point we are just rig hopping, looking for fish. That current's ripping, so it's hard to stay up right on the rig how we would like. 
we're rolling with it. Fisher's up here just uh, enduring the seasickness. We got some big, heavy, slow rollers out here that'll really do you in if uh, you're prone to seasickness. I know the camera can never tell, but it's enough, it's enough to get you sick. Anyways, that's what's going on. Hopefully we can find a good fish here. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hop around. If anything happens, you guys will see it on the GoPro cam. How's that salty soul apparel? Mm. It's nice, mm. soft. <laughs> Got one? Let's go. Fisher just hooked what we believe is a jack. I'm gonna put on my jack special. All I do is reel. <laughs> Heck yeah. So for whatever reason, they don't hit these snapper slappers. I'm gonna go change my lure. A jack? Oh man, we got a yacker. Oh, they're right under the boat. Nice, Fisher does not feel good. Oh gosh, there's a big school. Good gracious. Well, we got chum. Dude, look at that chum slick. You're the best. 